Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to get to the NHANES website and to begin getting oriented to it, how to move around it, where the different information is located. And what you want to do is, um, besides that, you also want to um, start learning about what um, kind of information was collected in the survey so that you can begin to think about what exposure and outcome that you want to choose for your model. So let's get started. So the, um, the way to get to the website is just to go to Google and you just type in NHANES, N-H-A-N-E-S, and it should come up at the top. So you just click on that. So this is the website for the NHANES survey and um, pretty much most of what you're going to need with regard to the survey information itself is contained in this website. And um, so what we want to do is we just want to start getting oriented to it. So um, the way I would start here is I would go to um, this so here. There's a little menu on the left hand side. I would start with this about in Haines and <clears throat> you can read this page here. And then I would go to um, this link here on the top, Introduction to NHANES, a PDF file. And this one will um, begin to give you uh, sort of a, a high level view of what the survey is about, how it's conducted, its goals. Um, here's a little bit of information about some of the types of information that's included in the survey. And uh, there's a picture of the mobile examination centers um, that they take around the country and they set up in different areas, um, selected randomly, and then um, some other information. So we'll start with that one. And then what I would do is um, I would probably go to this second one, the NHANES story. And this one is a video. This will give you more uh, orientation, uh, let you see what um, the mobile examination center looks like. And then after that, what I would do is I would go to the tutorials. Now this is selected from the first page. And we're going to be using the continuous NHANES data. The NHANES 1, 2, and 3, these were done um, earlier in the past. We're going to be using data starting in 1999, and that was when they started doing the NHANES uh, survey every two years. And so if you go into here, then what you'll find is um, you can start with the uh, using this tutorial. This will give you some um, information about how to um, use a tutorial. Um, the continuous one is what we want. Um, let's see, how do you go in here? You might start with the jumpstart guide here. And then uh, you can start with the using the tutorial, that's what I just said. And then you go to the survey orientation. So I think what you can do starting out here is under survey orientation, there is sections one, two, and three. And then under preparing an analytic data set, there's four through nine. I would work through up till number four, including number four. So do the first three and then plus number four. And so what you'll find is that um, when you click on these, they have different modules. And when you click on them, uh, it'll come up with different tasks inside each module and just do them in order or you can do them randomly if you want to but um, order is probably good and when you click on each of these tasks what will happen is you'll get a new window popping up and there's just a little bit of text inside each one so they've sort of already thought through how um, you should sort of get oriented to the um, to the website um, and the history um, so that's good. So do one through four. And then finally, um, what I would do then is I would go to this questionnaires, data sets, and related documentation. Again, this is on the front page. And what I would look at is I would look at this one right here, survey contents. And so what this one has is this one has uh, more detail about what's included in the survey. Still kind of a high level view. It's not getting down to the actual variables. But what it'll show is what you have here on the top is you have all the different continuous in Haines uh, survey years. And then it tells you in which years, for example, for example, did they, you know, did they um, uh, collect 
data on acculturation or allergies or air quality or balance. And you can see here, and you'll learn about these different parts of the questionnaire when you go through the tutorials, um, these are the things that were included in the survey participant questionnaire. And then if you scroll down, these are things that are included in the family questionnaire, demographic background, food security, health insurance, housing characteristics. These are things that were questionnaires that were done at the mobile examination center. So there's a, there's a home component to the questionnaires and then there's the mobile examination center questionnaire. Um, and then they also have, what do we have here? These are the um, examination components that are done in the mobile examination center. So they do a lot of, um, you know, kind of uh, biomarker measurements um, that require special um, equipment to do. So they do audiometry, um, bioelectrical impedance analysis, arthritis body measures. Um, they do DEXA, dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, um, which is like your, um, which is your uh, bone density. Um, so they have a lot of good things. And um, then if you go down farther, what you'll find are the laboratory components. Now these are, are a lot of biomarkers. So if you're interested in doing a study um, that includes a biomarker, either a biomarker of exposure and or a biomarker of outcome of a disease process, and you can look down here. Now this includes all of the um, biomarkers of environmental chemical exposures. So these may be of interest. So for example, here's uh, arsenic and cadmium. What else do we have? Cotinine. Cotinine is a biomarker, which is a, it's a, a metabolite of nicotine. So it's a measurement of uh, passive smoke and active smoking exposure. Um, they have all of these sort of metabolic syndrome kind of things, C-reactive protein. Um, they have, um, uh, well, you can see them here, so I don't have to read them out. So, um, so you can look through this stuff and begin to see what's inside and begin to think about what you might like to include in your model as an exposure and an outcome.